Hello everyone. Welcome to watching lesson 12 of SuperKit for Arduino Serial video tutorial. Driving single 7 segment display with sample SJ595. At first, let's see the parameter of this experiment. Next, let's see the components to be used in this experiment. 7 segment display. 220 ohm resistor, same for HC595 chip, same on the Euro board, jumper wells, breadboard, and USB cable. Next, let's see the principle of this experiment. Same for HC595 has a built in 8 bit shift register and storage. Its main function is to transform serial data input into parallel data output so that we can save the IO port resource of MCU. Sample HC595 is mainly used in multipath LEDs indication or multi-bit segment display driving. Let's take a look at its pins. CS, Serial Data Input Pin, Q0 to Q7, 8-bit parallel data output pins able to control 8 LEDs or 8 pins of 7 segment display directly. Q7 apostrophe, series output pin collected to DS pin of the last sample HC595 to collect multiple sample HC595 in series. OE, output enable pin, effective at no level, here we collected to ground directly. MR, reset pin, effective at no level, directly collected to 5 volts high level in practical applications. SH, time sequence input of shift register. On the rising edge, the data in shift register moves successively 1 bit, that data in Q1 moves to Q2, and so forth, where on the falling edge, the data in shift register remains unchanged. ST, time sequence input of storage register. On the rising edge, the data in shift register moves to storage register. Here we have applied the shift out function which comes with Arduino IDE when programming. Just input a number from 0 to 255. Storage register can transform it into 8-bit binary number and output it in parallel so that you can easily control 8 pins of the 7 segment display and let it display the patterns as you want. That's all for the principle. Let's start building the circuit. Collect current limiting resistors for the 7 segment display. Select 8 pins of 7 segment display to D0 to D7 of sample HC595. Select the common pin of 7 segment display to GND. Collect the GND and the VCC of sample at the 595 to ground and power source and breadboard. Pin SH to pin 8. and pin DS to pin 11. Collect pin ST to pin 12 of the board. Collect the breadboard and sample on the board.
After building the circuit, we begin typing code. Open IDE and edit code. Select pin ST to pin 12 of sample on the board. Pin SH to pin 8. Pin DS to pin 11. This array is used to store 0 to F coding to be displayed on 7 segment display. For example, number 252 in the array corresponds to binary digit 11111110. Thus, turn segment A, B, C, D, E, and F on, and turn segment G and D, P off. Thus, display 0. Set pins 8, 11, and 12 as output. Seven segment display show characters from 0 to F. Right now to pin ST. Input the data from high to low in serial through shift register. Release pin ST to make ST form a rising edge and make data in shift register go into storage register. Compile the code. If there are no errors, we download the code to sample on the board. Here we can see the 7 segment display show numbers from 0 to F. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.